Japan's Navy has publicly revealed a ship-mounted electromagnetic railgun, marking step in next-generation naval defense. The railgun, recently pictured during advanced testing on the experimental warship Asuka, is designed to counter hypersonic missile threats, particularly those posed by China in the Indo-Pacific region. This development comes amid heightened security concerns from neighboring powers, including China, Russia, and North Korea. The electromagnetic railgun operates without traditional explosives or chemical propellants. Instead, it uses powerful electromagnetic pulses to accelerate projectiles to supersonic speeds. A railgun projectile exits the barrel at around 2,500 meters per second. For comparison, conventional tank guns fire shells at about 1,750 meters per second. This velocity allows the railgun to intercept extremely fast-moving targets, including hypersonic missiles, which travel at speeds exceeding five times the speed of sound. Japan's pursuit of railgun technology began in 2016. The first onboard firing test occurred in October 2023. The weapon not only promises to enhance naval missile defense, but also offers the ability to engage air, sea, and land targets with greater accuracy and reduced reaction time. Traditional missile interceptors are expensive and limited in supply. In 2022, Japan estimated it had only 60% of the interceptor missiles required for national defense. Electromagnetic railguns offer a cost-effective solution as their ammunition is far cheaper and can be deployed rapidly. Globally, the race to develop railguns and similar advanced weapons is intensifying. The United States invested over $500 million in its own railgun program, only to suspend it in 2021, due to technical hurdles such as power supply and overheating. China, meanwhile, has been developing electromagnetic railguns in secrecy. In 2018, Photographs revealed a prototype mounted on the Chinese warship Haiyang Shan. Other countries, including India, Russia, and Turkey, have also tested their own prototypes, reflecting a broader shift towards new forms of military technology. The United Kingdom has taken a different approach, focusing on direct energy weapons like the Dragonfire system, which uses high-powered lasers to destroy drones and missiles. Each shot from Dragonfire costs about 10 pounds, making it both effective and economical. Ukraine, drawing from British designs, has also developed its own laser weaponry, reflecting how rapidly these new technologies are spreading. Electromagnetic railguns and direct energy weapons represent a fundamental change in the way nations defend their interests. Unlike traditional arms, these systems rely on advanced physics and cutting-edge engineering. The railgun's electromagnetic acceleration removes the need for volatile explosives, reducing logistical risks and increasing safety on board ships. The speed and accuracy of these weapons make them especially suited to countering hypersonic threats, which are difficult to track and intercept with older technology. Culturally, Japan's investment in such advanced defense systems signals a shift in its post-war military posture. For decades, Japan maintained a strictly defensive stance, guided by its pacifist constitution. However, regional tensions and evolving threats have prompted a re-evaluation of this approach. Japan's self-defense forces now prioritize rapid technological advancement to ensure national security and maintain regional stability. From a scientific perspective, the successful deployment of a railgun at sea puts stress on major advances in materials science, energy storage, and electromagnetic engineering. Operating a railgun requires managing enormous electrical currents and minimizing wear on the weapon's components, challenges that have stymied other nations' efforts. In this way, Japan's unveiling of a ship-mounted railgun is a milestone in the ongoing evolution of military technology. It reflects the intersection of geopolitical necessity, scientific innovation, and strategic adaptation in a rapidly changing world.